Hey guys, how are you doing? I hope you are doing well. Welcome to the channel. I want to show you what we got here. We got this sandbar. This is Boss 500 sandbar. This gear deserves your attention. This sandbar work with Google Assistance, Amazon Alexa built in, work with Apple AirPlay, works with Android. This sandbar you can connect it to your TV via optical cable, HDMI arc, Bluetooth. This sandbar is also a wireless sandbar with Dolby Audio. This gear deserves your attention. Optical cable and HDMI and headphone included in the packaging with remote control. What I want to do is to show you how to hook this sandbar to your TV using optical cable. But before we do that, we just want to measure the sandbar. This sandbar from this end to this is 80 centimeter. 80 centimeter height or length, if you like, and the width is 10 centimeter. This sandbar is very slim, powerful economical and affordable this sandbar is 449.5 here in UK just gonna tell you a bit of information about this sandbar is very thin designed with powerful sound Wi-Fi Bluetooth connectivity voice assistant built-in superior voice pickup control with voice and remote control or app HDMI arc connectivity Adaptic audio calibration, personalized bus music app, optional. This is optional, optional bus model or surround speaker. So you can add optional bus model or surround speaker with this. This is ultra high performance with an ultra thin design. This stylish soundbar is meant to be heard, not seen. It is the why bus engineer custom design driver to keep the bus sun by 500 almost impossibly thin without taking away from the acoustic excellent bus is known for measuring only five centimeter high each profile fit discreetly under your tv screen so you won't even know it is there until you had it and what with google assistant like i mentioned and amazon and lester so you won't have to lift a finger explore the, the features quiet for them loud and clear for you so you can use the headphone 700 with a bus soundbar okay listening experience with independent volume control so you can use the headphone to listen to the music from this soundbar and without disturbing anyone this gear deserves your attention and it comes with a and also work with Spotify, Denza, music and tuning. Okay, when it comes to the music, so you decide what you want to watch, either with Bluetooth, also Chromecast built-in, Apple, Airplay, Spotify Connect, compatibility. Now, what we want to do is basically, if you check my video, we connected this sound by using a mobile device. We also connected it to PC, okay, laptop. Now, what we want to do is to show you how to connect this sandbar to TV via, via using optical cable. Like I mentioned, optical cable is included in the packaging. So, what you need to do is, um, first of all, you need, to, okay, you need to switch the sandbar on, off. Okay, so switch the sandbar off and put the optical cable. It goes in here. This is optical. Okay, and it's in. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to bring the TV. Want to use LG TV for this? Okay, and uh, at the back of the TV. So, so the next another cable. Okay, go goes to optical cable on your TV. Okay, so push it inside optical, and it's in. 
okay it's in now we're going to plug tv and tv antenna as well okay now we're going to turn this around so the next thing to do is plug the tv to the power socket the tv is in now okay now i need to remove this so that we can see see what it looks like on the TV okay now what you need to do is you need to switch the sandbar on okay when you switch the sandbar you look here okay so you look the light underneath so when you switch it on then you can see this is Bluetooth okay and it's now blue blue is Bluetooth press the t press the TV Okay, so now I change the TV. Okay, so so now it's in TV mode. Other the TV with the TV, you can you select the same TV for optical and HDMI. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to select uh, switch the TV on. Okay, switch the TV on. You can see press the Alexa button on your LG TV. You can see. So this sandbar now do, now it says do you want to connect previously connected now so what you need to do now is use the remote And this is on. Okay, so you need to use the remote for the. This is the audio. Set. Okay. Breakfast clubs. This is now together with the amazing Breakfast Club staff, we will continue to help support this is the audio. Now, one thing I notice is with this, twenty-five. You can only control the audio when it's in optical cable. You use the, use the remote, use the remote for the bus to to control the audio. I don't want to leave this in one particular place. So this is the audio. Now, the other thing I want us to do is if we go to the TV setting, go to your TV settings. Okay, you scroll down to the audio. You can see optical device out. If you look audio, you see optical device out. Select on it. A few negative thoughts for his opponent. Okay, so this this TV device now is optical device out. Okay, so this is exactly how to look. If it's not in optical, once it's in optical, you need to make sure it's in optical. Okay, if it's in HDMI, you need to change it to HDMI. At the moment, this sandbar is connected via optical cable. If you're happy with this, please. Hey guys, how are you doing? I hope you are doing well. I want to show you what we got here. We got this sandbar. This is Boss 500 sandbar this gear deserves your attention you can connect it to your tv via optical cable bluetooth and hdmi this soundbar work with alexa google assistance 
this sandbar and also Apple Air Player is very nice, economical and affordable. A stain design. This gear got acoustic design and uh, ultra high performance with an ultra thin design. This sandbar you can connect it via Bluetooth. HDMI air connection. You can also put optional bass model and surround speaker. Personalized bass music app, adaptive audio collaboration, Apple AirPlay 2, Wi Fi and Bluetooth connection, thin design with powerful sound, voice assistant built in. This gear is beautiful stuff. This soundbar is meant to be had, not seen engineered custom design driver to keep the bus sound bar almost impossibly thin without taking away the acoustic excellent see bus is known for measuring only five centimeter high it is profile fit discreetly under your tv screen so you won't know that it's there until you had it work with google assistant amazon and Lester, and you will lift the finger what I want to show you is how to connect this sandbar up. This sandbar, optical cable and HDMI cable is included and also headphone for you to listen to music quietly, quietly without disturbing anyone. And just gonna measure this sandbar from this end. Here is 80 centimeter, 80 centimeter and the width is 10 centimeter now to connect this sandbar to your tv what you want to do is using hdmi act okay what you need to do is we need to at the back of your sandbar you see hdmi act okay so just gonna first of all unplug the sandbar and unplug it unplug the tv before you okay so hdmi arc cable goes in here this is where it goes okay so it goes to hdmi arc okay now the next thing we need to do is we need to the other end the other end of the cable goes to your tv to hdmi arc so this cable okay so put it to hdmi arc to e arc okay and see where it is hdmi in to e arc okay now also going to put the antenna for the TV now the next thing to do is we need to plug the sand back and also plug the TV on to the power okay now, the next thing to do is from this sand bar now switch it on Okay, when you switch it on, then you press the TV image. Okay, press the TV image so that the sandbar will be in TV mode. Okay, and now switch the TV on. Okay, and it can show you us HDMI 2 available. Okay. Now this is the this is the audio for this TV. Okay. Now what we need to do is we need to go to the go to the settings on your TV. Scroll down to the scroll down to can see it to sound out. Select on it. At the moment it's in TV, so we need to scroll to the side and look for hdmi arc this is bluetooth 
mobile device optical this hdmi arc select now this soundbar is connected okay using hdmi arc okay then use the remote control for the soundbar to increase the volume for the audio now this And of course, you've also this is the audio. Some yeah. Yeah. We've got many colour words. See, this is the audio. Earlier on in the book, I noticed we've got probably one of the most. We've played Elsie. Can maybe just land on the one that. This is fine. beautiful. Don't think the middle pocket's in the way. This is beautiful. I don't want to leave the this in one particular channel due to a copyright issue, so I'm just moving it around so that you can. In fact, I'm relieved. Let me know what you think, guys. All together with the first attempt. This is the audio. The last thing you want to do is just catch the red full ball. You can increase the volume. This is beautiful. If you go to your TV settings now, you, if you scroll down to the can see HDMI act, HDMI act device. So this is how to hook this up to your TV. Well, this, well Milken's fine. When it's in HDMI, it, choice of shot. you, you nice can only control shot. it with, the, when you're playing with this remote control. Right below the pink, but just to hit a single ball. It's too thick he doesn't want to do that beautiful okay guys thank you very much indeed and stable this is how to hook this up to your tv using hdmi arc cable and see what it looks like this is beautiful the reason I thought that you would uh, try and land on the one behind the black is because of the pink and black being awkward no, you wouldn't leave a great deal. Might Beautiful. Be cut back, but Thank you very much, guys. This is nice sandbag. It deserves your attention. Thank you. And stay blessed. Thank you. Hey, guys. How are you doing? I hope you are doing well. This is Boss Sandbar. This sandbar is very thin, very beautiful, with excellent sand, powerful sandbar. What we want to do is to show you this soundbar currently is connected to this TV using HDMI arc cable. This soundbar can connect it to your TV using HDMI arc cable, optical cable, and Bluetooth. What I want to do is to show you how to connect this soundbar to your TV using via Bluetooth. Okay, so just need to unplug the soundbar. Okay, I'm just going to unplug the HDMI arc cable. Okay, this soundbar, HDMI arc cable, and the optical cable, and the headphone is included. So with headphone, you can listen to music quietly without disturbing others. So this is the HDMI arc and optical cable included in the packaging. This gear is very powerful. It works with Amazon and Lester. Google assistance and uh, now I'm just gonna plug this to the socket plug it to the 
Samba and TV to the power. Just gonna measure this Samba from this end to this end is 80 centimeter. 80 centimeter. And this weight is 10 centimeter. Just gonna tell you a bit of information about this Samba. This Samba beautiful and uh, what is included is also with remote control and triple air battery this is the remote control and triple air battery with adaptive headset the overview for this sound bar is an ultra high performance with an ultra thin design this stylish sandbar is meant to be hard, not seen. It's engineered custom design drivers to keep the bus sandbar almost impossibly thin without taking away the acoustic excellency bus is known for. And fit discreetly under your TV screen so you won't even know that it's there. Okay, you can see it's, it's very flat, it's not big. And uh, work with Amazon Alexa and uh, Google Assistance. It's quiet for them and loud for you. So basically, you use there if you if you are in a, a lunch area with other people and you want to listen to music by yourself, you can use the earpiece a headphone, okay, and uh, to listen to your music. You can also control this with your voice. Now, to set this up, okay, using via Bluetooth is what we're going to do. So switch the soundbar on, okay, switch it on, then you select Bluetooth. From the left side, you need to check underneath, okay, this is where for you to check the light. So when the soundbar is in the Bluetooth mode, you will see a blue light. You can see it. It's in Bluetooth now. You can see a blue light to show you that it's in Bluetooth mode. Now, what you need to do is then we need to switch on the TV. Now, when TV is on, now the next thing we need to do is we need to go to the sound settings. Okay, go to the settings for your TV. So go to your TV settings. At the moment, this soundbar is in HDMI mode, okay? So go to your TV settings. If you scroll down to the sound, you can see at the moment is in sound out HDMI act device, which we removed earlier. So now we need to select the sound, okay? go to bluetooth we are going to go to bluetooth okay this is the bluetooth now I scroll down to bluetooth device select on it select bluetooth device and they will start to look for available device so okay now you can see these are bluetooth device you can see bus samba 500 is available and also lg sk1 is available so scroll up to select bus select on bus and this connect connecting here we go now this soundbar is connected now when it's in bluetooth mode you can use both rem okay use the both remote control this is the audio don't worry joe we'll give you another this is the audio he wants to bring it in I don't want to leave the sound. Hey, Mr. Fan. Yeah. Scratch. <laughs> so I like to get ahead of time. I like to get ahead. At least you know it's something I haven't got already. Exactly. Listen, there's one thing we never scratch in there. And you just, or you do it just a funny twist, and you, and you this just feel the, your this back. This is the audio. Yeah. Oh. Six, seven customers home. You're all kind of meandering back in, maybe with a cup of tea. This is beautiful. 
Can I increase the volume? Boy, steadying himself up here. Mm, right in the center of the pocket. This is beautiful. You're right, Dan. It does pop. It's a wonderful pressure ball. <laughs> of all time. Well, listen, you... Unlike most other networks, Sky Mobile won't hit you with mid-contract price rises. So you avoid the unexpected. So when this sandbar is in Bluetooth mode, you can control this with your TV remote control as well as the sandbar remote control when it's in Bluetooth. But when it's in optical cable or HDMI, then you need to use the sandbar remote control to control this. One pill. See. Take control. So you can control it using the sandbar remote. Hi, Hillary Springs and or TV Two remote. Of hundreds of made -to -measure styles. This is the TV remote. Transform your home for less this spring. This is beautiful. So this is Bluetooth mode. Let me know what you think of, of the sound, guys. Beautiful. So this is the audio. Thank you very much, guys. If you're happy with this, Please do consider to subscribe. I also want to mention if you go to the sandbar setting now, I mean, you go to your TV setting, scroll down so for you to know. If you go to the sand, it will show you Bluetooth device. Showing us now Bluetooth device. This is to show that this sandbar is connected to this Bluetooth device. Thank you very much indeed, guys. Thank you. Please like, share, and subscribe. It helps the channel. Thank you.